That's the Big Piney Ranger Station, brought to you by the Ozark National Forest and the U.S. Department of Agriculture. It's Wednesday, December 28th. It's about 32 degrees, pretty windy. 32 ain't bad. Down in the valley, it got down as low as 22. Heading into the East Fork Wilderness area. The skies are clear. It's immediately very steep mine. Small bluff line to get down. Right at the start. Bouldery, yes. Oh yeah, man, I have achieved uh, uh, first major bluff line status. And this is a this is a very high up bluff. I mean, way up way up top. It's got a little bit of a view, but there's a, quite a few trees in the way. I think I'm gonna keep heading down. If I, I'll just see if I can get down. Pretty high. I think I found a break in the bluff line, but I don't know for sure until I go down a ways. It could fall off again, but uh, looks promising. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. It did work out to, to be a slot down. So, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm gonna continue in a downward hostile manner. This is another small bluff line I gotta get past. Right. It looks like there's a slot. I know. Hee! That was a steep descent. Lots of, of small shifting rocks. Uh, I'm across this side hollow here. Just a little bit of waterfall there. Uh, nice and frozen. up on top of the level of that escarpment. I think there may be some bluff action down this way. That's going to be an unusual day. The wind's going to be coming out of the south and southwest. It's probably bring the temperatures up fairly quickly, more quickly than Typical. I was expecting there to possibly be something along in here. Oh. Oh. It appears that there's nothing. Uh, there's a drop off. I found nothing along this ridge. So, uh, I want to continue downward to cross this uh, hollow, get back on that other side.
Not sure what that is. There's another steep drop. Time to get down. Also, the bottom of this, of this hollow, which is exact hollow that I crossed up top with that little waterfall. Was. I wish I'd stayed on that side. Starting to lighten up, and the twerplets are kicking in. Where the, the temperature is already rising. I don't know how accurate my thermometer is, but it's, it's now saying 38 degrees. And I'm going down. Uh, down at creek level. Let's go across here and back up a while. Uh, 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 Pretty much made it up here at 710. <sighs> Official sunrise is uh, 715. Well, there's uh, kind of a bluff line here. That ain't no good. That's no good either, man. I do see the river down there, though. <sighs> 725. Never heard my first dilapidated woodpecker. I'll tell you what, man. I can get up on top of that little stack right there. I'll be, I'll be in business. <sighs> I don't have much time here. That's all I got. So, looks like I can get up here. Oh, we got Oh, yeah. That's good. This will do fine. Man, it's 737. It's gonna be my spot. Sun's about to pop up.
it's almost eight o'clock. Up on top of this, uh, this kind of a pillar, pretty good ways down. I think I'm gonna go down to the river today, which is once again the East Fork of the Illinois Bayou. In the East Fork wilderness. See if I can get on down on this slope. Yeah. Look at this squirrel nest in the crotch of that tree right there. Bastard. Um, how did I get up here? Hmm. Well, I don't remember. Oh. I got down the first level, how to get down the second level, I don't remember. Uh, sometimes when you climb up on stuff, you forget that it's usually harder to get down off of. Uh, yeah, mine, that's where it was. And this is where I am. Uh, and it's uh, steep as a bastard, if not more so. There's a bear crack, and I don't feel like going through it. Uh, somebody been digging right around in that. <laughs> Some kind of cat stuff. Okay. Down we go. All the way on down. Possibly even a downtown. Severely, and if I were to try to go down, I would more than likely perish. I more than likely I work my way back to that hollow that I crossed over twice. See if there's a way down through bar. forever uh. 
Uh, 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 in theory, I should cut a a slot. I try to slot right down through. I take it down to the river. The question is. How damn steep is the slot? I have to go back upstream a little bit. I get out here. Ain't that a tis, man? The East Fork of the Illinois Bayou. Yeah, this is um, this one wilderness area that I have only been in. I mean, many years ago, I uh, came in here. a good way down right there. That really is. I mean, I'll just look at it. Look at it. Huh? Look at it, damn it. Alright. Next time you look at it the first time, I tell you. You got that? Slips. Oh my goodness. Look at this wall. Uh, I don't think, you know, it's, uh, it's unusual. I just got uh, out to this stuff. I just slowly uh, breaking away. Obviously. Another one. Wow. So yeah, mine is the same hollow. I'm gonna cross it for the third time. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go down here and check out the uh, East Fork off to Illinois Bay. And there it is. Heading downstream right there. Which means that's upstream. Let's see if I can get on up that way. I didn't get by the bottom. So that little bluff looks like possibly. If not, well, I've got to go up there. Not too big a deal. Wow, this is a 
a big old poison ivy vine. I've been there for centuries. I'll wager. There you go. Came from up there. Uh, down and back over here. Get them damn bagger lines, man. Oh, look at that sun. That's real nice. We got 34 degrees now. I'm fresh blood. A little trail going down to the water. Probably a good place to cross right there. The animals. Or humans. Uh, oh, the kingfisher just went by. There it is. Come back. Hello, Mason Kingfishers. Come back, Kingfisher. I hate kingfishers. They never come back. You ask them to come back and they never do. In my experience. There's a... There's a, that's a maple. These maple trees keeping their leaves a good while. I think it's a red maple, but I'm not sure. They're all wrinkled up. Beaver! Uh, little bastards. Even gnawing on that root right there, man. Oh, and babers. Always knocking down crap, man. Sparkling. There's another, another maple tree. Still holding on to its leaves. As if for insulation. Just looked at one of these leaves up close. That's a that's a sugar maple man. Thirty-three degrees. Continue upstream. Day man. I really like to see a bear. It's been so long. The desire to wrestle. Strong. 
to dominate the forest, man. That's right. Take down every challenging animal. Bears, wild pigs, beavers, badgers, and chipmunks. Yes, even them. And the smart asses. This would be a nice little light spot if it was uh, sunny enough. There it is, man. Two different species, tree and rock, intertwined are disgusting. That's oh, just disgusting, man. Look at that. Big ol' icicle are grouping. And the river takes a, a sharp turn right here and then cuts back over that way. It looks like part of it takes a shortcut right here creating an island. That's pretty nice, man. I just look at it. I look at it. Sweet. This feels really good right here, man. The, uh, the sun reflecting off this uh, rock. Yeah, man. That feels very refreshing. Quite. Yep. A bush cry shelter right there, man. Oh, nice and dry. In the morning, you got the sun coming up, warming your ass up real good. Oh, you know, oh, kind of a nice little bluff, man. Uh, hell, it's just vine growing up. straight up and connecting to a tree up there. I mean, it looks like a tree of its own. Feel that breeze, man. I'd like to say it feels good, but no, it don't feel good. Not on this particular day. Not really. We got a sandbar with all kinds of hoof prints and hopefully hoof prints. I don't hard to tell if there's anything else there. I don't see any bushcraft style spore for me to look at and uh, possibly make plaster casts of uh, for later study. Uh, yeah. Uh, look at that pool mine. Look at that. It's landlocked though at this level. 
at higher levels it can escape into the the body proper of the river uh, if I can walk on this side probably not I can, I'll get trapped on the island I'm going to go I'm flaking over bingo, hang on. Oh, bingo. I need to get back up there. And do this block line. That'll give away. I don't really like walking in the bottom line that much. Alright, man. I wish Christ style bark. And this particular bark coming off of a, uh, is it a sycamore? I think it's a sycamore tree. Sycamore, yeah, well, yeah. You got that hole ready to go, man. You could, you could make a mask with that. That'd be sweet. Camouflage yourself from animals that you're trying to hunt and take down. A uh, bushcraft style. Horrible oh, animal. Uh, I was used to have to quite a bit of some of the trash out there in the woods and all that. Well, you know what I'm damn well sick about that. You know, I try to have one on that some of the trash because it just gets in the way, you know. So, well, it's unattractive, it's unsightly. I just don't like it, man. I'd like it removed. Uh, somebody remove it, please. Anyway, there's a little side hole right there. I think I can probably get up above this little bluff line, you know. Look at this thing, man. Ah, that's fantastic. That's stupendous. I can see the river way over there. But, uh, oh, super sunny. And, uh, wind hasn't been that bad. It's uh, starting to warm up, so the wind will probably prove in the end to be uh, quite refreshing as I head up this hill. Oh uh, yeah man, I gotta get up on uh, on that and follow that ridge up. Uh, actually a little steep right there though. <sighs> Picker. There it is. Hello, what Parker? I sure what kind it is. I ain't no dilapidated. I ain't got a red head. Black and white on its wings. Hey! Hey, Piker! Oh, he went behind a tree. I watched it scare him. I got on an old road bed. Yep, in the wilderness. We'll be the rest of the time. Look at that wine. There used to be logging and crap going on here before they created the wilderness. There's gonna be road beds. I ain't so much. I wanna get up out of these, uh, out of this pine grove. A little bit higher, find a place to eat some lunch, man. Alright, man. Not only is this bark good for making masks and crap, man, it makes a wonderful tinder. I mean, I could throw that down on the ground, hit a rock up close to it, it'd burst into flame. Oh, that's simple, man. And that's how you survive. Oh, boy, Christ.
the road bed. After all, I'm in no hurry. Let's see where it goes. Oh man. Got off that road bed, it's just too much zigzagging. Uh, for me. Damn your wind. There's a long line of boulders right there, if I didn't know better. I think I was in the same place I was last week where I saw that turd-like boulder. something trip me up I don't want down hard Problem is the wind ain't worth the shit. Probably 10, 15 miles an hour. Uh, yeah, uh, watching is over, am I? I'll get the hell out of this wind, man. All right, man, it's 11.30. Not sure about the temp. I'm gonna guess 45 again. I'll do it for a 40.